City. So yeah, in this video I just wanted to show how you can play with the idea of anatomy. So uh, right here I have um, a model, but more importantly I just wanted to show you how you can take any figure um, and uh, play around with anatomy. So this is uh, Ryan Kingsling has this awesome anatomy model in ZBrush. Every time you buy ZBrush you get this awesome anatomy model. So what I'm doing is taking Ryan Kingsling's uh, anatomy figure and configuring it to the body position of my model. And I'm using the snake hook here, just kind of squishing it in there. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know, I'm not a perfectionist, but you get the idea of adding and studying anatomy, uh, you know, based on um, this model. So I actually had the figure done first, then doing the anatomy later. It's kind of backwards, but it's still a lot of fun. So uh, I'm using the um, uh, rotate tool. I masked off the bottom of the legs and just kind of moving him around, hit, I should, moving the skeleton around um, to configure to our model's uh, body position. And uh, I was very influenced when I was a really little kid. I had this thing called the Visible Woman. I was probably way too young to have this. I think it was like six years old. But it was this plastic model. And inside the model, you could clearly see the um, rib cage, all the organs. You know, she even had a little baby inside her abdomen. It was actually quite creepy. But, um, yeah, I really liked that type of a thing. And uh, I like playing around with it. So... So this is something that I do from time to time is uh, creating these kind of like see-through characters or half and half characters. So now I'm taking the uh, the skull and I actually left her head in this kind of sideways position because I just wanted to have like a cool, you know, just a cool pose. It makes it a little bit more work to get the skull in the right position, but I think it's worth it to have just, um, I don't know, like a fun pose to work with. So now I'm just kind of moving that around. And uh, yeah, ZBrush gives you this awesome transparency function so you can see just what you want to see and everything else is like, uh, you know, transparent glass. So it works out really, really great. Love it. Love it. Um, so yeah, this is getting that skull into the right position. It takes a little bit longer. I'm definitely editing this video um, to show you the highlights. But... Um, yeah, I was actually thinking of making a split face, half face and half skull, but I ended up just liking how her face looks uh, normally, so I just left the uh, left the skull uh, inside the head. But you can see right here, just moving the skull into position. It's great. It's a great teaching asset. Um, I do this with my sculpture class when I'm trying to show them um, what's going on inside the figure. I'll take a photograph of the model, and in ZBrush, I will uh, manipulate a skull or a skeleton inside that. And this, is, this is a great learning tool. I love it. Love it. So now I'm slicing half of the body away, revealing what's underneath, which is the muscles are on one layer, and there's also another layer for the bones. So I can kind of slice away as I want to go and, uh, you know, kind of create this anatomy study. Uh, I was also influenced by, I think, a show called Body Works or Body Worlds, and they had all these, you know, split figures and stuff. Again, incredibly creepy, but interesting. So here it is. I took the character and made it, like, into a stone um, color. And here is a video uh, just showing the whole process. I just like watching these little motion videos you can make in ZBrush. It just makes me happy. But, uh... Yeah, what's great about this is if you wanted to pitch this idea, if you wanted to 3D print it, it gives you just this really great kind of uh, sneak preview of how it's going to look on someone's desk or whatever. So anyway, so much fun. I just wanted to pass this new thing along to you, which is anatomy study. All right.